Um, lot 12's pin, which is right there in front of us. This is your road frontage on lot 12. Goes up to those three dots up there. So now with this property, it is obviously more acreage. There is not an existing interior drive. So we're gonna walk this ridge and show you where you would build your driveway. So there would be some cost, obviously, in building a driveway on this one, but you're gonna be much more secluded. We'll uh, walk in and we'll shoot back to the road from up on that ridge, which I think would be the easiest way for a driveway. Get to the corner and then that's where it comes back down to the river. Now we're facing east. Okay guys, we're right at this corner. This is the corner pin right here. So we just walked in from the road along this line. See the line going down through the woods? But really your driveway is going to be up on this, this ridge. And that ridge does go all the way back out to the road, nice and high. So you'll be coming through the woods here, and then you'll be making your turn around this corner, and then heading south to the river. So we're going to walk down there and show you the uh, lay of the land as we get closer to the river. Okay, so now we're here on the line. Um, we we're up at the corner, which was, you know, up there. So we walked down here, and now we're standing on the line. This is fairly flat, but guys, right here, there is a dip in a valley. So if you're going to build your driveway, you know, and get close to the river for your building, you could excavate either side of these hills. This is all sand and gravel in the, in the hillsides, so it's called bank run gravel. So the excavator that's building this driveway from the road around the bend back to this area. And then if you wanted to build the cabin, you know, 100 feet off the river, you would be doing some excavation, utilizing, you know, material on site. But uh, this one's got a little bit more moving parts than the other one. Next, we're going to go down now to the riverside. Okay, now we've made our way down to the river. So came in off the road, went around the bend, came down to this line. Now we're about right here, and the really unique property uh, attribute here is not only do you have 655 feet of river frontage, okay, the river splits into three sub rivers through this section. So you got the one coming in here, you got one in the middle, and then one on the far side. So it creates these islands, and then it flows back all together into one big river. Uh, just off the property and uh, over there those are your um, you know your corner marker for your uh, southwest corner and then this starts the 655 feet of river frontage on your south border heading uh, east nice piece very unique and that's lot 12.